you know, we had great plans in December when we bought this place in 2019. We had all these plans of growth and bringing this restaurant even further into the community and doing all these things. And we never could do any of those things that we wanted to do to grow. Now we're just trying to catch up. And our business plan of, you know, over the next five years looks nothing like what we did when we bought. We're still here, we're still excited, we're still a part of the community, but it's very different. We receive PPP funds, which- Two rounds of that. Two rounds of that, which by the very definition, payment protection, this is for our employees. We kept people employed when we didn't have any business, when we were forced to be closed. That was wonderful, we are grateful for it, but that was a Band-Aid. You know, when we lost a million dollars in revenue the first year that, that COVID hit, that's huge. And a little PPP loan does not make up for that. And so we did apply for the restaurant re revitalization funds. We were eligible, yes. but like 4,000 other restaurants in the state, we didn't get it, the money ran out. We're still here, we're still surviving, we're still struggling, but that would have really gone a long way. And so Senator Catwell's things today were very encouraging that maybe people still hear that this is not over. We not will not from recover from, for years. People are sick, people need to stay home. They need to be safe. We want them to be safe, but that impacts us. We're on a volume. We need this to be over and everybody yeah. Yeah. be healthy, get healthy and stay healthy. Yeah. It may sound funny, even though we're really distressed and stressed out over the last two years, we're still very thankful because we do have a great staff and we have a great customer base and that's why we're still here.